Katie and Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Thursday, February 2nd, 2023. Good morning. I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with last night's episode of AEW Dynamite broadcast live on TBS from the Nutter Center in Dayton, Ohio. In the main event, Samoa Joe defeated Darby Allen in a no-holds-barred match to regain the TNT Championship. Joe secured the win via pinfall, hitting Allen with an avalanche-style muscle buster on the wooden floorboards of the ring, which had been exposed after Allen cut away part of the canvas. There's no padding in it. It's exposed thick wood. The time he took to expose the wood may have worked against Joe, him. Joe just pulled the referee So smart. So smart. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Joe, no, Joe, don't do this. Don't do this. No. Not a muscle. He's thinking muscle buster. No way. No. He can't. He can't. No. Oh, my God. Oh. Both men, guys. Both men. The muscle buster into the exposed board. Oh, got a new champion. Two, three. The winner of this match. And new TNT champion. Samoa Joe! Jeez, what a freaking match. The king of television reigns again. The win marks Joe's second reign as TNT champion, ending Allen's own second reign at four weeks. Following the title win, former TNT champion Wardlow hit the ring and ran off the new title holder. AEW World Champion MJF got into a backstage brawl with Konosuke Takeshita, resulting in a non-title match being made between the two for next week's Dynamite. Takeshita had pinned Brian Cage earlier in the show. Also on the show, John Moxley pinned Adam Page in the opening match, and Jade Cargill went 50-0 after successfully defending her TBS championship against Red Velvet. Brian Danielson pinned Timothy Thatcher of Pro Wrestling Noah in Thatcher's AEW debut and his first match in the United States in five months. The belly suplex right there. He's suplex. going for it again, but nice duck under. German suplex by Danielson. Yeah. Danielson did a great job of slipping behind Thatcher. Timothy Thatcher, though, rising to his feet. Danielson, nice drop step underneath. Boo, psycho knee! Oh, that, man, he dropped him. Yeah, that flattened him, you're right. The cover, two, three! As we talked about the striking ability of Danielson, that may have been his only way out of this match. In other happenings, the Gun Boys were granted a title shot for next week against World Tag Team Champions The Acclaim by Billy Gunn during a promo segment, and Soraya and Tony Storm ganged up on Britt Baker in a parking lot attack. In more AEW news, All Elite Wrestling will be going on the road with a series of weekend house show events, according to an official company statement yesterday. Branded as AEW House Rules, the events will be held on select weekends in smaller venues, beginning with a show on Saturday, March 18th at the Hobart Arena in Troy, Ohio, a 4,000-seat capacity building that hasn't hosted wrestling for nearly a dozen years. Said Tony Khan, quote, as a lifelong fan of professional wrestling who grew up attending house shows, AEW House Rules is an exciting next step in our journey, giving fans a new level of access to top-tier professional wrestling. We're always looking for meaningful ways to engage with our fans, and AEW House Rules will be a great way for them to connect with our incredible talent and experience AEW in an intimate setting, end quote. Also quoted in the official release is AEW Director of Business Development Jeff Jarrett, who had been brought on board in part to specifically launch the company's house show business. House show dates beyond March 18th have yet to be announced, but are expected in the upcoming weeks. The company is also relaunching and rebranding its community outreach program. AEW Community will now be known as AEW Together, according to an official announcement yesterday. The program is described as a philanthropic initiative designed to help foster positive change in the different markets visited by AEW. This would involve focusing on youth programs, equity initiatives, plus emphasis on local service as well as physical and mental wellness. AEW Together also plans to maintain current relationships with the charities AEW has worked with, including Culture City, the American Heart Association, and Oceana, as well as other nonprofits and community support organizations. 
said newly appointed AEW Director of Community Engagement Caitlin Borden, quote, The overarching mission of AEW together is to fight collectively for a better world, and I'm honored to lead this incredible team in our effort to create meaningful impact. With our roster of passionate wrestlers and amazing partners across the country, we have the power to make a difference, end quote. Borden is the daughter-in-law of Steve Borden, better known as Sting, and has been with the company since June of 2021. Amanda Huber, widow of John Huber, a.k.a. Brody Lee, serves as the community engagement coordinator. Also involved as AEW Together advisors are Mark Henry, Paul White, Jake Roberts, and Sean Dean. In ratings news, NXT last Tuesday night drew 587,000 viewers to the Vengeance Day Go Home episode live on the USA Network, according to Showbuzz Daily. That's down more than 3% from last week's audience of 607,000. It was also the lowest total audience since December 6th, which was the last premium live event Go Home episode, that one leading into deadline. In the key 18- to 49-year-old demographic, the rating was .13, which translates to 170,000 viewers and is up from last week's .12 key demo rating, according to WrestleNomics. We close with some news on Dark Side of the Ring. Shooting for the fourth episode of the Vice TV documentary series is underway, according to a report yesterday from PW Insider. Subjects for the new season reportedly include Abdul the Butcher, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Mike Awesome. So far, Mick Foley, Terry Funk, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and Jim Cornette are among those who have been interviewed for upcoming episodes. It has not been announced when Season 4 will premiere on Vice, although it is expected to be later this year. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and 7 days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The Wrestling News can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.